and there was this lady standing in line at checkout, and she's yelling, Wendy, and I'm like, oh, Wendy. So I, I run over, and, and she was she was so sweet. She was from Armenia, and she was like, Armenians love days. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. of our lives. Surprise. What the hell are you doing here? We don't want anybody knowing that we are friends now, do we? First comes love. Thank you for a wonderful first date. Does that mean there's going to be a second date? Then comes marriage. With this ring. Why be what? Then comes baby. This baby is coming. We're here in Los Angeles for Peacock's Day of Days 2023, celebrating with the cast of Days of Our Lives. Get ready for a first look. You know, it's amazing how you guys even formed a band. I don't right? know this, like... Yeah. yeah, we all hate each other. Yeah. No chemistry whatsoever. I no rapport. I can't yeah. imagine. Okay, let's start from the beginning with that. I, I want to hear how that happened. It could have gone south quickly, mm -hmm. but instead we really formed really easily and started singing harmony very naturally, mm -hmm. and so we didn't really have to... It was easy, and we, we, we all fell out. into we, it. We really lucked yeah. out yeah. because it could have, it could have, you know. And we all have different tastes in music. We're a multi-generational band. We actually we represent a lot of years actually together. So yeah. it's a very eclectic. And my my point of the band is just to amaze people that we're actually playing the songs that we're playing because we're gonna probably gonna freak some people out today with our our song choices. I sing a lot of Rachmaninoff. Yeah, oh. he does a lot of Rachmaninoff. Really compelling lyrics. I'm all Barry Manilow, that. and he's all Rick Springsteen. Really? I was going to go for some ACDC. I don't know. I saw uh, that. Yeah, what you wish for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but I was seeing with Billy, and he's got to get mad that I'm screwed. Yeah. I'm like, he's going to let me have it yeah. so it's not even, I can't even get out of it. And then sometimes I say, no, just really let me have it. But I know yeah. I know you're like, I'm going to let you have it anyway. You know, you want you know I did it with Clyde once, or James Reed, and like, he went to defend himself, like it wasn't like uh Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, and I was just a stiff jab right to the, right to the nose. To your nose? Yeah, I oh, literally no. got, I literally got hit in the scene. In uh, uh, Santa Clarita, and um, I just, I was so broke, and, and I actually had, uh, during the pandemic, had completely run out of money. Um, and so I moved away, moved, left LA. And I was so heartbroken, I remember, because I thought, this is it, I'm done. I gave it, you know, a solid eight years, and this just pandemic just broke me financially. And and um, and I was so sad, because I, I felt like I had given up on my dream kind of involuntarily. And then, you know, I get the phone call from Days. So literally that day that I was crying and kind of, you know, being down about not feeling like anything would ever, I would ever be able to sustain myself as an actor, actress. Um, I check my email and then I have a request to do the screen test. And it was like moments, like my friend was in the room, left the room, and then by the time my friend came back, I was embarrassed to say that I had the screen test because I was just crying about <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's incredible. It's just, we, it's so humbling to feel a part of the legacy that it is. And so it's, it's really nice. Yeah. Exactly. No, everyone has been um, extremely welcoming since day one, and I couldn't be more appreciative of that fact. Um, and yeah, just the fact that they're, you know, standing outside in line, it's, it's when you see those faces, you're like, oh, this is what I... This is what I'm here for. This is what I do my job. Like this is it. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they, without a doubt, love the show so much, and so do we. And so it's it's really nice to see like all of those people in one room. So it's nice. If you could write your own storyline, you could write something in. Listen to that. Yeah. What, 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 would your, what would your like ideal storyline be? <sighs> ideal like an actual specific story. Like well, as I was mentioning, I've mentioned before that I would like to do something undercover because because undercover that opens up yeah, a lot of possibilities. For storylines, for both of us, we can do different characters. Um, do we like playing the trumpet on like a street corner? Yeah, we like, can do like, that. Like, um, yeah, I can be doing. Yeah, because I play the trumpet, or I can do a. I don't know. Who, who knows? Like something fun where we go undercover, so we can like disguise ourselves and and, and then act as somebody else. So so we have that moment of freedom to do that, <laughs> and I think that would be fun to see. She does incredible do impressions. We're capable of superheroes. <laughs> You are a superhero. She's a superhero. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting some pieces of what I really 
really loved. You know, as CEO of Titan right now, I wanted him to get on his business game. I wanted him to be, you know, really rooted in his game, in his, in his career, and not let women deter him. But this is daytime romance, so the woman's always going to win and always take over our brain. That's some real life, too, sometimes. You hear that, everyone? It happens. Yeah. We're here at the press table. Hollywood first look. Oh, there we go. Here we are. Hollywood first look. They have a camera with a light on top. So we thought we'd take a video. We have a good time, baby? The best time. Yeah. Best time! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you consider moving in here permanently. But in Salem. This is unethical. Oh, my God. Here's Old flames still burn. Oh my god. 